Welcome to Taskmaster Minnesota, episode four, because I know you guys need a little more. <laughs> All right, and here are our contestants. Bree, <laughs> Cole, <laughs> Eric, Ian, Jackson, and Parker. And sitting beside me is my darling little assistant, David Ha. Give him a wave. <laughs> what fruit has been wrought of your labors today, David? Ah, great question, Carter. Uh, we have a very special appearance from Greg and Alex this week. David. Hey, David. We've got a problem. We've got a major league problem. A serious problem. You have done a version of Taskmaster, unapproved by our lawyers. And unfortunately, Ooh. it's lawsuit time. Okay, <laughs> David Hart, we are issuing you with a, a, a writ. What's that thing where they, a summons? Yeah, this when someone comes to your house and it looks like they're delivering flowers, but then they pull out a really mean envelope and you get sued. This is, this is one of them. Is this the message you dreamt you'd pay for, David? <laughs> yeah, well look, if, if the writ doesn't work before your series, good luck, Max. Good luck, David, the assistant. Yeah. Uh, the contestants are Bree, Cole, Eric. Cole, Eric. Ian. Ian. Jackson. Jackson. And Parker. Parker. <laughs> May the best person win. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't ask them to say any. I just said, can you say our names, though? I, I was initially very nervous when I watched the first half of that video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, can we get a series scoreboard update? Yes, uh, that last episode has changed things up actually a fair amount. Uh, uh, Eric has taken second place with 46 points. Cole has uh, swung into last place with uh, 31. Uh, Parker maintains his lead uh, by eight points. Uh, that's what it looks like. What's the first task today? The first task today is the very first task that everyone filmed. Hi, Parker. Hi. Welcome back to Taskmaster. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, Cole. Hello. I was worried that I wouldn't get lunch for a while. It's... All right. Um... Wait, this is a task? Okay. Oh, there's a knife here, actually. <laughs> um... <laughs> Probably won't hope. I hope I don't need that. Um. <laughs> uh, eat the most food. <laughs> you will have one minute to eat your food. Most food eaten wins. Choose the food that you want the contestant that comes after you alphabetically to eat for their task. <laughs> you have two minutes to select a food for your competitor. Your time starts now. Do you know who you're picking for? I don't remember who's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you're picking for Cole. Do you know who comes after you alphabetically? It would be Jackson, correct? Yes, sir. So the person, if, if there's no one who comes after you alphabetically, we go the first person. So you're, you're picking for Bree. Okay. Do you know who comes after you alphabetically? No. That's Ian. Ian. Uh, do you know who comes after you alphabetically? Uh... What, Ian? <laughs> What's your name? Um, oh, yeah, my name was... Oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> it's, it's Parker. It is Parker, okay. Yeah. Do you know who you're picking for? Um, no, who comes after me? Eric. Okay, I don't know this person. Um, I can always hope that he's allergic to peanuts, and then I can pick <laughs> peanuts. That will be pretty good. <laughs> Okay, 
Well, to start off with, we are going to just watch uh, the selection process. Not, we're not quite getting to the eating yet. We're going to get to the select. We're going to watch four people choose foods for their competitors. We're going to see Cole, Bree, Ian, and Parker select their competitors' food. So I'm allowed to just pick the most unpleasant food for this man? All the information's on the test. This is, I, I, feel, I feel pretty bad, but I, you know, a minute to win it. I'm gonna pick, um, some, like, jalapeno peppers. Okay. Oh. I don't know him well enough to know what food he doesn't like. <laughs> this is my first choice. You can do pickled ginger. Pickled ginger? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see, I'd like to see Jackson eat, I think raw onion, like just raw <laughs> whole onion. Okay. Eat as much as that as possible. Raw onion, I guess that's edible. Yeah, it okay. is. I mean, I ate some the other day. You did? Yeah. Um, not, not like, but you know, on a sandwich. Okay, fair enough. Let's see, what is, what is a good, um, ooh, how about sardines? Sardines. I'm, I'm thinking sardines, yeah. Okay. Clip it, ship it, sardines, we'll do it. Lock it in. Okay. What do I, I don't know. I, I, look, I don't, I don't know Eric. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot with this man. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll allow him to eat, um, I'll allow him to eat something tasty. Maybe, maybe some kind of cake. All right, I'll, I'll give this man some, um, some, I'll, let's just do brownies. Brownies? Yes. Okay. Is that the choice? Yeah. Okay, pickle ginger it is. Okay, thanks, Bree. Can you, uh, open the other task that's in that envelope? <laughs> yeah, in the envelope, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the food that you will have to eat is the food that you attempted to choose for your cookie. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just chosen green olives. I was wondering how that was going to work. Crap. All right, well, we'll get that pickled ginger for you right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Bree. Thanks, David. <laughs> The food that you will have to eat is the food that you attempted to choose for your competitor. Good. Good. The food that you will have to eat is the food that you attempted to choose for your competitor. Let's go! <laughs> I just picked the food that I most wanted to eat. But you never know when, <laughs> when, when actually being nice pays off. Very rare occurrence in this life. Uh, before you go, can you Read the other task that's in that envelope. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. The food that you will have to eat is the food. The food that you will have to eat is the food that you attempted to choose for your competitor. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. I've lost this task. I'm not going to be able to see this idea. I should have. I should have known better. A full season here. <laughs> I think I think that was the definition of instant karma for you. Yeah. <laughs> Rarely has it paid off well. Yeah. <laughs> After that task, I tried to check the envelope. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, this was maybe not the kindest way to start their filming <laughs> off with. Okay, before we see the other two selections, we're going to watch these four attempt to eat their foods. Here we go. I do want to mention that it says on here, it says um, place a small amount on a plate and eat a little at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you'll have one minute to eat as much as you can. <laughs> How, how confident, how, 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 many, how much onion do you think you're able to eat? I think I could get this left one here pretty good. Okay. I don't know, I, I'm maybe a whole one. All I'm, right. Maybe a bite into the next. Okay, your time starts now. <laughs> Starting now. Okay. <laughs>
20 seconds left. Does this work? <laughs> you have 15 seconds left. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. The worst part is like the burn in my shinishes. I yeah. forgot that's a thing. When you eat, <clears throat> eat too much raw onion. That's kind of the main thing about eating onion. <laughs> uh, that's your time up. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay. Thanks, Bree. Thanks, David. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you really enjoyed those brownies. Oh, you didn't, yeah. you didn't go in on them at all. I, I didn't even end up eating my thing, but the sheer amount of rage I felt <laughs> watching you slow. <laughs> I don't know if it, the audio came through, but Cole was moaning throughout. <laughs> I, was, I was going to point out your your moaning. It's so aptly put. Yeah. I quite legitimately enjoy the taste of raw onion. Like it tasted perfectly fine. If it did not like force me into like like fight or flight mode by like burning my sinuses that bad, I think I could have gotten through one and a half. Yeah. If onions weren't like onions, he could have eaten more. <laughs> if you boil it down, that's my argument. Yeah. Okay. He said, oh, I forgot these burn. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Um, he did okay. Ian, Ian ate 53 grams of raw onion. Okay. Pretty solid. Um, uh, compare that to, for example, Parker, who ate zero grams of sardines. I feel I feel great about that, by the way. I feel very good about not eating anything. Uh, Brie uh, was only able to eat 18 grams of pickled ginger. I, I think that's a considerable amount of yeah, pickled yeah. ginger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cole, 113 grams of brownie. So first place at the moment. Uh, Here is, finally, Eric and Jackson. Very curious to see what terrible thing I have to eat. Oh wait, why is there, there are two parts to this. You have two minutes to select a food for your competitor. Your time starts now. The food that you will have to eat is the food that you attempted to choose for your competitor. Wait, am I supposed to see both of these at the same time? Wait, now I'm, these are conflicting. I'm confused. So, but I am confused. Is Parker eating what I choose, but I'm also eating it, or am I the only one? I like I. How about just a just peas? Just an actual <laughs> of peas. Peas. Yeah, I think I want Parker to just eat like a massive bowl of just like mushy peas. Okay. Locking it then. Yeah. All right. Peas it is. Okay, Jackson, you can now read uh, the second part of the task. The food that you will have to eat is the food that you attempted to choose for your competitor. Happy with what you got? I mean, I don't, I don't love peas, but I could probably <laughs> eat it. Okay. Boiled cow's tongue. Oh! Okay. Uh, I can't get that here. <laughs> it was worth a try. Yeah. Um, an entire fish. <laughs> yeah, just like boil an entire fish. Boil it in a hell of a lot of cumin, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a little one. Oh, no. Uh, the food you will have to eat is... <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> It'll be delicious, David. Okay. Looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it more, <laughs> I think. That, that's it, David? Yeah, that's it, thank you. We'll, we'll go get that salmon for you right away. Extra cute. <laughs> Why do you do these things to me? Why did I do this to myself? Yeah. <laughs> In you go.
couldn't get a whole fish, but she's got the most important part. Your time starts in three, two, one, now. It was hot. There was so much bone in there. It was actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jackson. Oh. Your time to eat peas starts now. Oh. Oh. I think I ate a couple bones on accident. Thanks, Eric. No, thank you, David. <laughs> no, thank you, Eric. <laughs> Bye. I have seen the face of God. <laughs> and it was a fish. I'm gonna be completely honest. That was my first task ever recorded okay. in all of my life. Uh, I was just a little confused. <laughs> this is the first task that was filmed. Like mm. the very first time Eric thought of me, <laughs> he decided to not only come up with a, the, one of the worst things I've ever seen anybody, <laughs> use, but he had, had to like make it up. He didn't like he didn't like name. He didn't pick like haggis. He's like. I think I will make David boil a fish head <laughs> with a, and dump in a jar of cumin. Yeah. <laughs> boil well, and cumin. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting the fish head was an interesting experience from the from the uh, butcher. Uh, we were like, yeah, we just, like we need a salmon, but just like, and the, and the butcher was like, well, the salmon's. Yeah, two hundred dollars. I was like, okay, just the head's fine. <laughs> He's like, you're you, wait, you want the whole salmon, but you're just settling for the head. <laughs> He's like, we don't sell the, the we don't sell the, the fish head. That's just for display. I said, well, can I just have it? He's like, I, if you give me five bucks, I guess. You can have it. <laughs> wow, that was a um, steal. <laughs> Eric was at the store as well, and he assured the butcher the fish head would not be used for anything sexual. <laughs> which I, I don't know why. That definitely oh. made things worse. <laughs> yeah. the, the butcher can now rest easy. <laughs> Eric ate 79 grams of fish. Oh. Uh, yeah, putting him in second at the moment. Jackson, 91 grams of peas. <laughs> um, Okay, so there's the scores. Now, Parker didn't eat any. Um, does he get a, a pity no, point? Okay, no all right. Point. <laughs> okay. Fair. So this is how it shakes out then. It's zero points to Parker, mm -hmm. two points to Bree, three points to uh, Ian, four points to Eric, five points to Jackson, and Cole's first task win. <laughs> well, it's time for an award winning task. Uh, this task won an award? No, not yet, but the Emmys are coming up soon, and I'm pretty sure Taskmaster Minnesota is a total shoe in Honestly, probably not even going to bother attending the ceremony, so if I'm not there, that's why. Um, anyways, this task is about winning some awards. Hey, David. Hi, Eric. Looks like we got a painting of some kind. Okay. Hi, okay. Parker. David. Hello. Got a task here for you. I never would have guessed. Make a painting of David that wins the most awards. The awards that you can win are most dramatic painting, most confusing painting, I like that one. Scariest painting, fanciest painting, most <laughs> erotic painting. Most people depicted in painting, fastest completed painting, most paint used. 
best painting as judged by the Taskmaster, best painting as judged by David's mom. <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes. Most award-winning painting wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. Fuck. Only now I realize that it would have been a good idea to be good at painting. Uh. Okay, to start off with, uh, we're gonna watch uh, everyone but one person uh, complete their paintings. Here is everyone except for Jackson. <laughs> These are my options. This is my palette, as it were. Oh, you also have a palette. Oh yeah, and that, that, that's also my palette, as it were. I don't know how to hold a palette. Is Didn't like... you uh, go to art school, or? Okay. No, uh -huh. You skipped pal palette class too many times. <laughs> I think that most erotic is most likely to lose the, the mom approval. I see. Yeah. Someone gets most erotic and mom approval. I have questions. That's, that'd be an impressive painting. Yes. Yeah. Would you say this is this part is scary or erotic? Uh, you know, I'm gonna leave that up to the viewer. Okay. Most people depicted in painting. How do we define people? Because if we define people like stick people, oh, oh, oh no, uh oh, it happens, right? Well, I dry, I dried it out. Do you like do a pose? Well, kind of pose. Like this. Can you like stand? There? <laughs> can you can you make like the stupidest face possible for me just like right now for a second? I just need to get our, get can you give an example? Uh, no. Well, well, I just I honestly don't know what kind. Of just just right. like the most like random face you can. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. You really look stupid doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for the painting? No. <laughs> 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 We've got we got to get the mic on here because. We're being kind of photorealistic. There's some money. Yeah, photorealistic is the <laughs> word I would use to describe this. Let's see. Does that look right? Yeah, all right. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Why is this one off center? <laughs> Beauty is found in the places in which we are on center with our nipples. <laughs> we'll go with that, we'll go with that. But no, no backtracking, no mistakes. If Bob Ross has ta taught me anything, it's that uh, happy accident. Yeah, if only he taught you how to paint instead. That, yeah. Uh, first of all, gotta be more dramatic. Let's add some exclamation marks. Okay, your time's up. So. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hi. Uh oh. Damn it, I was gonna say hi, David's mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I, I, I feel like I did, I did quite well with, with my materials. Pretty proud of that. I am covered in paint. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, David. Okay, thanks, Bree. Okay. I think this is another one our contestants have been very excited to see. Um, I will also say we have a lot of paint left over from that task, so all the remaining paint wow. is today's prize task. A whole box of them, so every every color you could need. So whoever wins today gets to take home all of that and take it out of my house. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's look at breeze. Let's breeze. Oh. I will say, you using the same color as his skin for the outline makes it look like he's only wearing strips of cloth. <laughs> <laughs> of an outfit. I mean, that is pretty erotic. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Can we go see Ian's next? Yeah, here's Ian's. What is he holding in his, uh, I think that's right hand? It's, uh, it's a beating heart. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna give me a, a run for my money on the family enamel. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think he will. <laughs> he's missing a couple teeth. Yeah, I was saying. Okay, who did you want to see next? Eric. 
Okay. <laughs> so, I, I am not an artist. <laughs> okay. Let's okay, I believe Eric was aiming at just for most confusing painting. I, I, I don't, I, honestly, that's the only one he said he was I, going for. The moment this task started, I forgot all of the categories <laughs> and just went. <laughs> no did, thought behind anything. You did have the sheet of paper with you. That oh, yeah. All the no, categories. I didn't look at that again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want to dwell on this any longer than I have to. <laughs> Can we go to Coles? Yes, let's look at Coles. Oh! 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 Wow. You will never defeat me. A lot of passion in those brush strokes. Yeah, Erotic passion, even. Erotic passion. I was just about to say that. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Wh whose painting would you like to see it next? Uh, could I see Parker's? Parker, let's see yours. Okay. <laughs> well, as you can see, David. <laughs> now, I know it's not exactly what it looks like. David has a big boner that he's touching. <laughs> that's his. That's his. Yeah, that's my boner. Oh. He has some very long. Um, Testicles. <laughs> Some very misaligned nipples. Say. Um, very interesting shoulders. And then uh, the caption there is, the people are so far away that they are a dark mass. <laughs> <laughs> so. a lot of people, I think. Uh, if you were listening to the video, you can, you, you, you can tell that as Cole uh, predicted. I was actually going for most erotic and David mom approval. Yeah. Because uh, this yeah. would have said hi, David's he mom. He was going but, for it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Parker was going for the, yes, the forbidden duo. <laughs> 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 uh, um, <laughs> we do have one more painting left to see. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> if you recall, there's a couple of categories that haven't uh, been attempted yet. So let's take a look at Jackson's yeah, uh, process. Really, really gonna get some paint on there. Just absolutely. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, that'll add to the quality. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> we'll start uh, lightening up the tone in the face area. You know, nice, healthy gray yeah. skin color. <laughs> just like me. Yeah, you can already see the resemblance, actually. Really just. Yeah! <laughs> Just really get that in there. Oh, God. Wait, that doesn't need to What am I doing? Get that. I'm kind of going for a, a David receiving eternal damnation in hell, kind of. Well, and if I stop now, I might go get the pizza. So I think that's uh, going to be all for me. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a spitting image of you. Uh, you know, yeah, great, great job, Jackson. <laughs> Why don't you go wash off? You don't want any paint? Uh, I'm okay. No. You've given me enough, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, we've already seen it, but let's take a look. <laughs> I really get the hell vibes. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to depict David suffering eternal torment, and I feel like <laughs> I captured that. Okay, so we got a lot of awards to hand out. So first off, we have the most dramatic painting. What do you think? Do you I think? was also going yeah. for the, like, in a classical sense, dramatic lighting. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I would say Cole's because it implies a narrative. Yours <laughs> implies a, uh, a state of being. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so one award for Cole for most dramatic painting, mm -hmm. uh, most confusing painting. Uh, come on, come on, Eric, we know. Okay, it. Eric. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> okay, uh, well, whose do you think is the right. scariest painting? Uh, there's fear in those brush strokes. Uh, so Cole, Cole is the I scariest will say painting? Cole okay. is the scariest, yeah. Okay. But Ian is a close second. Okay, fanciest painting? Fanciest. I uh, will say Breeze. Okay, yeah. Breeze. Yeah. Okay, most erotic painting. <laughs> I mean, 
He's naked. Yeah, Parker's is certainly making me feel some things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say it's the only one that depicts a sexual act. Yep. Okay. And for that, and that alone, Parker <laughs> yeah. gets the most of okay. That's that's a, a photo of me at my most erotic, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. Yes. Spitting image. Um, okay, most people depicted in painting. So Ian. we're gonna say Ian. Oh, no okay, you're not buying the dark no, mask. I'm Bullshit. Not buying that. Bullshit and bias. Yeah. <laughs> Black mask. Millions and billions. Okay. Of we are taking away the erotic point too. Oh. Oh. This is the risk we take. Yeah. This is it going to someone else? Or is give it, it to Bree. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, the fastest complete paint, everyone used their full 10 minutes except for Jackson, so. Okay, <laughs> uh, Yeah. Uh, okay, most paints used. <laughs> I don't know, there might be some contenders up here. <laughs> well, you can weigh the paintings. I'm just, I'm just gonna say Jackson. It was Jackson. <laughs> We're gonna say Jackson. Okay, next up is your best painting as judged by you. What do you think is the best painting out of these um, six? I'm gonna say the one I think I could conceivably see in a museum would be Jackson's. <laughs> right. Jackson. And now it's it's the time we've all been waiting for. <laughs> it is uh, best painting as judged by my mom, and she had a lot of great things to say about them. Okay. So. Uh, I'll say, okay, before I read my mom's notes, um, she mostly just used this as an opportunity to uh, mercilessly roast me, so <laughs> here we go. So, um, okay, so here's my mom's notes on Brie. She said, oh, this one's adorable, but are you adorable? I think that's the real question. <laughs> um, uh, about Ian's, she said, uh, this one is magnificent and fierce. <laughs> the proportions are right, but I'm not sure I could pick it was you out of a lineup. <laughs> this is not a side of you I've seen a lot, but you look like a leader in this one. <laughs> wow. um, about Eric's, uh, she said, were your teeth like that when you were posing? <laughs> I'm not thrilled with this one. It doesn't look like David. <laughs> Obviously her favorite. <laughs> about Jackson's, she said, this is everything she said about Jackson's. Magnificent. Wow, so tactile. Okay, wow. I love this one. Oh my god. I love the dimensionality and the thickness and the representation. Wow. Oh. <laughs> about Cole's, she said, Whoever made this one must be very intimidated by you. <laughs> it's like the dark Brandon version of David. <laughs> I think this one comes from a place of real fear. <laughs> dark David. So, she, so she thinks it's scary. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, about Parker's, she said, at least you're smiling. <laughs> I guess it's because you're jerking off. <laughs> I suppose that is one version of you. <laughs> Your so. mom is ruthless. <laughs> These comments are even better than I'd hoped. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was all just going to be like, oh, that's so nice. I, I'm, predict I'm predicting petitions in the comments for my mom to be a contestant next season. <laughs> um, OK, well, her favorite, she said, by far, Jackson's. Yeah. <laughs> not, not yeah. Thank you. Thank you, David's mom. <laughs> I really couldn't be here without her. Uh, after, I will also say, um, after she judged them, I, I, I asked, do you want to guess who made each one? And she got six out of six. She, she wow. guessed who everyone. OK, you're giving Parker one, one point. So mm. Parker, uh, once again, comes last in the art task. <laughs> uh, so one point to Parker. Uh, it's three points then in joint uh, fourth place to Eric and Ian. Uh, it, okay, yep. Come on, guys, everybody clap it up. <laughs> okay. In joint second place with five points each is Bree and Cole. And, <laughs> and the winner of that task is Jackson. <laughs> 
can we please have a score check? Yes. Well, after two tasks, uh, Parker is uh, slightly falling behind with uh, one point so far this episode. Yeah, and the league currently, it's a tie between Jackson and Cole at 11 points. Oh. This next task might have you feeling uh, nervous, anxious, sweaty, and you might vomit afterwards. No, it's not social interaction. It's time for an exam. <laughs> oh, no. So, oh. David. Hi, Eric. The David Man. That's me. Big, big David Man. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hopefully good. Okay. We'll see you after this task. All right. Okay. I'm Parker. here. Hello. Pass David's exam. You must take the exam in the testing area. If you leave the testing area during the exam, you automatically fail. Every time you fail the exam, you must make a bead bracelet inside the sauna. Then give the bracelet to David before you can reattempt the exam. The bracelet must spell out a word that is at least six letters long. <laughs> also, when you pass the exam, you must exclaim, Yay, hooray, I can't believe I passed the exam. This definitely must be the happiest day of my whole life. I love that task so much, or else you will fail the exam. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. All right. Uh, is this the testing area? Uh, no, it's those orange flags out there. Oh, no. Okay. Get me into this testing area. Okay, I'm ready to be tested. Okay, question one. What picture is on the dartboard? <laughs> is it a dog? It's not a dog. I'm sorry, but you failed the exam. I'm going to need a bead bracelet before you can retake it. <laughs> I think he would have made the sauna a bit too hot. Uh, no, I almost. Yeah. So I the sauna was out. about. We, we yeah, we thought. I thought it would be funny if the sauna was on while they had to do this test. So it was about 150 degrees in there, which is about 65 in Celsius. Um, uh, yeah, so I had a lot of fun with this task. Uh -huh. <laughs> I enjoyed it I'm a lot. I'm sure. First up to take the most infuriating, annoying, and uncomfortable exam of all time. Here is Eric and Ian. Okay, question number one. What picture is on the dartboard? I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry, and you failed the exam. Yeah. <laughs> it sure is getting a little hot in here. Oh, that's a Z, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's an N. It's also a Z. A wonderful bracelet for yeah. him. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Question number one, what picture is on the dartboard? It's a man-eating spaghetti. Correct. Um, question number two, what word is written on the back of the task envelope? Agony. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect, you failed the exam. Die. Okay, now before I enter the ring again, okay, I'll read this one last time. Oh. Oh, now I go the direction I thought I would. Here's a bracelet. Thank you. Six letter word, ibises. Question number two, what word is written on the back of the task envelope? <laughs> oh. Yeah, right there. <laughs> I made, it, I made it the classic blunder. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good start. Uh, erudite ass? Yeah, erudite ass. Yeah, that's correct. Erudite ass. <laughs> Terror. Okay, very fitting. Uh, question number three. What is rule number six of the sauna rules? There is no six. There's only five. I'm sorry, that's incorrect, Eric. Mm. Fuck! <laughs> you failed the exam. Wait a minute, give me back that bracelet. I guess there's nothing in the rules that prevents you from taking them back. This one's a little tighter. And if you catch too hot, you could jump into it. <laughs> if you catch too hot, go jump into a lake. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is correct. All right, final question. Number four. In order, what are the words on the bracelets that you've made for me? Uh, tamper, horror, misery. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not right. Oh. I'll tell you what they are. It's tamper, terror, misery. Oh, God. It's the same. <laughs> In order? Yes. Ibises. And then? Ibises. Yes. Uh, yay, hooray. I can't believe I passed the exam. This must definitely be the happiest day of my whole life. I love that task so much. Got another one for you. Uh oh. Excommunicate. <laughs> yeah. Tamper. Terror. Misery. Excommunicate. That is correct. You've gotten 100% on the quiz. Yay, hooray, I can't believe I passed the exam. This must definitely be the happiest day of my whole life. I love that test so much. Congratulations, Ian. Thank you for all the friendship. Yes. I mean, first, before anything else, let's give a big hand to David for creating a bracelet sweatshop. <laughs> A literal sweatshop. <laughs> yeah, Ian surprisingly seemed to enjoy that test despite being in the sauna for uh, quite a long time. Ian took 20 minutes and 14 seconds wow. on that it test. It took me, a l I think, probably like eight minutes of that where it's trying to find the letters for excommunicate while almost <laughs> passing out. Eric was very close. I did not, yeah. I, I hadn't considered that somebody could take the bracelet back from me and then he just went to the sauna, untied it, and retied it and gave it back mm. to me, which was, saved him a lot of time. So he took 14 minutes and 24 seconds on the exam. I, I will also say throwing that uh, the envelope behind me was not my greatest moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next studious pupils are Cole, Bree, and Parker. Um, I should mention before we watch this that during Parker's attempt, our cameraman Luke did go rogue and do something that I did not tell him to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Erudite A S S A55? ASS. Erudite ass. Okay. Is that something you've said before? I've, I, I probably have said that. Say an 11 letter word. If somebody's <laughs> gonna claw me, somebody's gonna just like read the same instantly say some like Erudite ass word. <laughs> Is it recently? I don't know. I, I would have no, no way of knowing that. What picture is on the dartboard? What picture is on the dartboard? <laughs> Very simple question. <laughs> Stupid image. I don't like it. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm already feeling the heat. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on a sec. <laughs> no, 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 Disastrous. Oh, thank you, Luke. Question number one, what picture is on the dartboard? A guy eating spaghetti with wine. Yes. Question number two, what word is written on the back of the task envelope? Eurydite ass. That is correct. What is rule number six of the sauna rules? Don't sleep in the sauna? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Well, you failed oh. the exam. Okay. Don't fall asleep in the sauna. I'm sorry, Parker, that's incorrect. <sighs> you failed the exam. Okay. Ah! I don't want to go in! I wanted to spend some time in the sauna, but I didn't expect it to be like this. I, 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 mean, I have a feeling that Parker is going to take his all his clothes off. I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> like black jeans. I don't have a change of pants either. I'm just going to be in these tomorrow. Good lord, get me out of here. Like, in, with the accent and everything? I want you to tell me exactly what's written on rule number six of the sauna rules. Jump in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> you get too hard to jump in the lake. No, I'm sorry, but you're missing a word. Man eating spaghetti. Erudite ass. If you get too hot, could jump into lake. That's 100% correct. If you get too hot, could jump into lake. <laughs> that is correct. In order, what are the words on all the bracelets you've given me? Makers, makers. That is correct. Emperor and Parker. That's correct. Uh, haters, 
um, jumble and lemons. Yeah, that's correct. Yay, hooray, I can't believe I passed the exam. Yeah, this must definitely be the happiest day of my whole life. I oh. loved that task so much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> twice in the sauna, that was enough. Grammar free, you're done. That wasn't too bad. It's, it is so brutal in there in jeans. Yeah. Okay, good, thank you. You didn't have to do it in jeans. Well, my... <laughs> Bye. Bye, David. <laughs> A lot of suggesting that Parker take off clothes. Yeah. The opposition wants to see in me and my jeans separated. <laughs> <laughs> Fervent desire. Uh, Bree, what was, what was that accent? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jamaican, I think. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Um, you know, when you don't hear someone say it first, you gotta, you gotta imagine it in your head. Yeah, you took a wild swing at it. <laughs> a very wild swing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. A swing and a miss, I would say. How about you say? I don't have to. <laughs> Can we have the times on those? Yes. Uh, Bree took 17 minutes and 24 seconds. Uh, Cole only had two trips to the sauna, 13 minutes and 5 seconds. Uh, Parker was very fast at making bracelets, 9 minutes 4 <laughs> for Parker. Seems he had a good motivator. Yeah. <laughs> they used to call me Mr. Bracelet. What can I say? <laughs> okay, the time to beat overall then is nine minutes and four seconds. But there's still some room for improvement. Nobody has seen the picture on the dartboard yet. Does Jackson have what it takes to become the class valedictorian? Let's find out. Question number one. What picture is on the dartboard? The dartboard? Yes. I do not know. Boy, I hope I don't have to do this too many times. I feel like the uh, heat is not going to be good for my brain. All right. It does uh, say fucker. Okay. That's a six-letter word. Yes. <laughs> what word is written on the back of the task envelope? Ooh, I did not see that. Uh. <sighs> Ooh, it's warm. Uh, this one says shitter. Oh. <laughs> What is rule number six of the sauna rules? Have fun. Sorry, that's incorrect, Jackson. Shit, all right. You failed the exam. God damn it. All right. I swear this sauna is going straight to my brain. The, the sauna makes it very hard to think clearly. This says matter. What is rule number six of the sauna rules? If you get too hot, you have to chump in the lake. No. <laughs> All right, this one says Monday. I'm running out of Monday. good swear words. Okay. In order, what are the words on all the bracelets you've given me? Fucker, shitter, and Monday. No, why not? I forgot matter. Oh, right, that was Third my fourth bracelet. one. This one's shaggy. Shaggy, okay. Fucker, shitter, matter, Monday, and, um... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Hold on, give me a moment to think about it. If it helps, you just handed it to me 10 seconds ago. I know, and that's what makes it so terrible. So Shaggy. That's correct. Congratulations, Jackson, you've gotten 100% on the exam. I can't believe I passed the exam. This must definitely be the happiest day of my whole life. I love that task so much. Okay. Thank oh, you, David. Oh, Jack, I can't believe you like that task so much. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, Take go a have nice some, rest. I'm gonna go some have water. some water, yeah. How are you doing, Jackson? I mean, I'm fine now, but I was very much not enjoying it in the moment. <laughs> After that like third trip into the sauna, I was cooked. My yeah. brain was not working for me. Uh, yeah, when you couldn't think of Shaggy, I started to get worried for your health. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson spent, yeah, just a reminder, the. Sound was about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Jackson spent almost half an hour on this test. 27 minutes, 47. <laughs> that was a rough one. All right. So it's one point to Jackson, <laughs> two points to Ian, three points to Bree, four points to Eric, five points to Cole, and the winner of that task is Parker. Well oh, done. Mr. Bracelet. Everybody, please rise for the final task of the show. Yay, okay. 
All right, Carter, who would you like to read out uh, the live task today? Um, Cole's in the lead. Let's have Cole. All right. Cole. Correctly guess you're standing in the group. The cast taskmaster will read out a category. Then you must hold up the number that reflects your standing in the group. You will receive one point if you are one away from your correct standing and two points if you are exactly correct. Most points wins. OK, so Carter has been given a list of categories. If you get right on, you get two points. If you're one away, you get one point. If it's a tie, like for instance, if there's a tie for third in the answers, uh, then either three or four would be correct. And you would get two points for saying either three or four. But if you're one away, as in two or five, no points. So that's how we're handling ties. Carter, what is the first category? The first category is most northern birthplace. So if you were born, if you think you were born the furthest north, you hold up a one. If you think you were born the furthest south, hold up a six. Cole, please hold up a number. <laughs> now, now, please, now, now. Okay, I can tell you the person who should be holding up a six, the most southern birthplace, uh, is Cole, who was born in Santa Barbara, California. So it's two points to Cole. In a tie for fourth and fifth, uh, Ian and Parker were actually born in the exact same hospital. Um, now, the nurses there refused to tell me which room you two were born in, so I could only narrow it down to a tie. The person who should be holding up a three uh, is Eric, who was born in Minneapolis. One, one away, you get one point. Uh, the person who should be holding up a two is Bree. Uh, Maple Grove. Uh, Maple Grove. And the person who should be holding up a one is Jackson, who was born in London. And you thought that two people were born further north than you. Okay. <laughs> category. Category number two, most unread emails. Okay. Please hold up a one. <laughs> oh. Three one. Please hold up a one if you think you have the most unread emails. <laughs> and hold up a six if you think you have the fewest unread emails. I can tell you the person who has the least unread emails and who should be holding up a number six is Eric with seven unread emails. Ooh, you have one, one point, point for me, one for away. Eric. I can tell you the person who should be holding up a number five is Parker with 16 unread emails. So one point to Parker. The person who should be holding up the number four right now currently is Cole, but the person who should be holding up the number four is Ian with 4,297 <laughs> unread emails. <laughs> I can tell you, the person who the person who should be holding up a number three right now is Bree with five thousand eight hundred and forty nine unread emails. No points. Were you guys just like not replying to email? I can tell you the person who should be holding up a number two right now is Cole with eight thousand unread emails. <laughs> but he was scared away by three other people holding up ones. Um, so the person who should be holding up the number one right now <laughs> is Jackson with 13,000 <laughs> unread emails. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many do you have? <laughs> Beth, come on stage, come on stage, Beth. <laughs> Ben has 32,788 unread emails. I mean, do you just hack into other people's emails and then not check them? Like, Okay. Category number three, most hours spent playing a video game in the average week. I can tell you the person uh, who should be holding up at six, it's a tie for six, so five and six are both okay. Um, Parker and Cole, both with zero hours per week playing video games. Uh, I can tell you the person who should be holding up the number four right now is Eric, who plays four hours per week. Uh, no points there. The person who should be holding up a three right now is Bree, 10 hours a week. Two points for Bree. The person who should be, so you both held up two. Um, the person who should actually be holding up the number two is Jackson, 12 hours per week. The person who should be holding up the number one is Ian with 33 hours a week on <laughs> playing video games. 
Category number four, fewest phone contacts. All right, the fewest phone. So whoever has the, if you think you have the least number of friends, please hold up a number one. How do you remember telling you any of these? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can start with who should be bragging about their number of phone contacts. They have the most phone contacts, should be holding up at number six right now, is Cole. Cole, 218 phone contacts, that is the most. The person with the second most phone contacts, hold up, should be holding up at number five right now, is Jackson with 134. So one point for Jackson being one off. Uh, person who should be holding up a four um, is Eric, with the only person, one of the only people who's not holding up a four, <laughs> with 77 phone contacts. No points, Eric. There, the person who should be holding up a number three uh, is Bree, with 75 phone contacts. Very close. Uh, person who has the second fewest phone contacts should be holding up a number two is Ian, uh, who with 72 contacts. And the person who should be hoping number one with the fewest friends by far what? is Parker uh, how with do I... 40 contacts. When, how did you get this info? When did I tell you this? Fifth category. Fifth category. Highest word count in your Discord about me section. Uh, all right, so I can tell you the shortest uh, about me section should be holding up at number six is a tie. So five and six are both okay for this. Uh, Jackson and Cole, who do not have an about me section on Discord. Uh, okay, the person who should be able to hold up at number four right now with four words in their about me section is Parker. So one point, uh, your about me section says, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why he has so few phone calls. <laughs> The person who should be holding up at number three right now is Bree with six words. Pretty short, but there's three shorter ones, unfortunately. Um, the person who should be holding up at number two right now is Ian with 11 words. Well done, Ian. Finally, the person with the most words in their About Me section is Eric with 31 words in his About Me section. Yeah, he has a lot to say. <laughs> Our last category, please. Most loaves of bread eaten in a month. The person who eats the least amount of bread and should be home by six right now uh, is Cole, who eats no bread for a month, zero. This is the third time Cole has put down zero for an answer. <laughs> In a tie for fourth, so four and five are both okay for this, uh, is Bree and Jackson half a loaf each. So Bree gets two points, Jackson, so since it's a tie, no points. Okay, the person who should be holding up a three right now uh, is uh, Eric, who uh, put down two loaves of bread, so one point for Eric. Uh, the person who should be holding up at two right now is Ian, with three and a half loaves of bread per month. Two points now for Ian. The person who eats the most bread per month is Parker, who eats 12 loaves of bread <laughs> per month. We go through a lot of bread. Yeah. He's always after that bread. <laughs> I don't play. Yeah. That means on average, Parker eats a loaf of bread every two and a half days. <laughs> okay, well everybody can please head back to the seats and we'll add those to the final scores. How did these guys do on that sweet task? Okay, <laughs> okay, well I can tell you that um, uh, the least amount of points in that task was uh, Eric only got three points, uh, so earned just one point. Uh, Ian got four points, which translates to two points. Uh, and a tie for third, for third uh, earning four points each, is Bree and Parker, who each uh, got six points during that task. Uh, Jackson got seven, so he earns five points for that task. And the winner of that task with eight points in the task is Cole. <laughs> Zero is really easy to guess. <laughs> Can okay. we have the final scores of Taskmaster Minnesota, episode four? Yes. I will announce the final scores for this episode. You might want to drink this one yourself. OK. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Don't worry, I don't David has spilled water. OK. <laughs> Uh, with Jackson in second place is 17, but the winner of this episode is Cole with 22 points. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Cole. Here is your box of paints. I don't, I don't want paint. Do that. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, we've had quite the episode. 
Uh, let's see, David made a sweatshop. He forced people not only to paint, but to eat various types of food and gathered copious amounts of strange information from people. Um, if anyone who's part of any FBI, CIA needs more information on him, he is quickly proving to be a threat to both himself and others. <laughs> Please don't hesitate to contact me. And with that, that is the final bit of Taskmaster Minnesota Season 2, Episode 4. Thank you, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like the video if you haven't already. Uh, it helps uh, more people see the video, uh, which is very exciting. Um, and you know, please share it. I just want as many people as possible to watch it, so share it with anyone you know who likes Taskmaster, or likes Minnesota, or likes laughing. If you happen to know anybody who, who likes those things, uh, please send them Taskmaster Minnesota. Uh, really, you know, just trying to get it into the mainstream world of Taskmaster. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to see people talking about it uh, online. That would, that's that, that's the dream. Anyways, um, today I want to give a shout out and thank you um, to Vine Whip, who uh, uh, not only compiled uh, a lot of the Taskmaster music. Uh, that you hear in the background tasks uh, is also uh, she's also in the process of creating her own uh, poem Taskmaster series. It's not out yet, um, so I can't you know recommend it. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. Um, but more importantly, what she's doing for her series is she's creating she's composing uh, original music for the series. And I, I asked if I can use uh, some of that music in my series, and she said yes. Um, so. Uh, this, the song you're hearing right now was composed by Vine Whip, um, and the song that played, uh, the sort of groove song that played in the background of Jackson's uh, exam task this episode uh, was also composed by Vine Whip, and there will be more music uh, composed by Vine Whip in episodes uh, 5 and 7 as well, um, and I'll, I'll credit all of that in the, in the end credits, but I just wanted to uh, shout out Vine Whip, thank you for letting me use your music. And thank you for um, compiling the Taskmaster music as well. Um, and yeah, it's it's I think it's great and it's so impressive. I I I have no idea how to do uh, that kind of stuff. So um, it blows my mind. Somebody uh, wrote all this Taskmaster music. I think it's so cool. Um, anyways, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, let's go back and listen to this.